Why is your MSP website not getting leads? You spent the time to build it and nobody fills out the contact form. In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down every single thing step-by-step step to give you full clarity on why your website is not converting. My name is Harrison Marin from growth-generators.com. We help MSPs with sales training and marketing. Before I get into today's video, I do have to mention two quick things as always. Number one, there is a masterclass down below. It'll dramatically help your business make significantly more money in the MSP world. I promise you the feedback I've gotten is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. I'd highly, highly, highly recommend checking it out. Number two is come hang out with us in the Discord. I constantly do free trainings in there. It's a fantastic community of people from starting out all the way into the seven-figure business area. And I pop in there. I answer questions. I do Q&As. I provide one-on-one -on -one feedback. It is really, really cool. If you'd like to join, it is growth-generators.com forward slash Discord. And there will be a link down below. So let's talk about your website. Now, it does, I wanna cover a couple quick things. It doesn't matter where your website has been built. It literally doesn't. You could build it, <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna say this, you could realistically build it on GoDaddy, you could build it on Wix, Squarespace, WordPress, it literally doesn't matter. But what does matter is a couple different things when it comes to building your website. Number one is who are you actually targeting? So I'm gonna draw a couple areas up on here and we're gonna go through some of the key factors you really need to have, right? We're just gonna, this is your website, it's got all this beautiful content written out and ultimately, this is what you need. The first thing is, is who is your website actually targeting, right? And this is going to be uh, my best bet here, drawing a bullseye and we're gonna just do a bullseye. First thing is, is who are you actually targeting when it comes to your website? Most people build a super, super generic website. Hear me out. You need a car. Well, we're gonna sell you a car. You gotta call us to see what kind of cars we got on the lot and if it's the right car for you, but uh, we got cars. Doesn't make any sense. Literally, that is probably 99% of websites I see on a regular basis in the MSP world. They have this beautiful website, they spent all this money, they maybe hired a developer, and they went through the whole process, and they don't even know who they're targeting. They literally, I mean, nobody can tell who is actually being targeted when it comes to this actual website. I don't understand why, but for whatever reason, nobody actually goes through and defines who they want to target. The next thing that they don't have on their website, and I hate to say this, is services you offer. Services. One, two, three, and so on and so forth. And maybe you do support my R's are actually awful. Support, maybe it's BDR, maybe it is AV, whatever it might be that you wanna actually offer. I can't tell you how many times people don't actually put the services on here. It sounds crazy. And not only do they not put the services on there, the few that actually do put the services on there, just say, hey, we offer the best MSP support for your business. And that's it. It's crazy. Your target customer probably has no idea what an MSP actually does. On the flip side of things, if they actually know what an MSP does, you have to explain to them what is actually happening when they call in and what that support process is actually like. The person visiting your website doesn't wanna pick up the phone and call you and say, hey, what services do you actually offer? How do you offer those services? Okay, great, thanks, bye. And they hang up. You need to define and explain to people what is backup and disaster recovery? What is support? How does support work? How you provide antivirus? Whatever it is, threat hunting, it literally does not matter. But what you have to do is label on its own page what services you provide and break it out. Tell people in layman's terms, pretend they are a high schooler and you're trying to explain to them 
why they might want to consider IT support. Price is not the option. It's just telling them about it. Explain it like they have no idea because most people don't know. And the few that actually do barely know. There is a very small percentage of people or businesses out there that fully understand what an MSP does, how they do it, and knows what to look for. The other 95 plus percent, zero clue. They just don't know. They literally have no idea. So first is the target audience. Second is actually having your services. Now, third is an opt-in. We're gonna just draw a nice little page here, and we're gonna go, oh, P opt an opt in. Now, an opt in is a way for people to say, Hey, I like your website. It's all good. All right. What's next? They want to commit. They don't want to fully commit. And they don't want to say, Hey, I'd like to get a quote or I'd like you to come by my office and explain things to me. But I just want to find out a little bit more. Now, this could be anything from an ebook. This could be a white paper. This could be a checklist. This could be something that they're looking for as far as value goes. My opt ins are just what I told you in the beginning of this video. I would love for you to opt in. It's for you. If you're ready to take the next step, you go through the masterclass and you learn from the masterclass, and then you're going to get value based emails afterwards. Full transparency. On the second part of it, is joining the Discord, where there's hundreds of people in there that wanna help you grow your business and including some exclusive access to me when I go in there and hang out. So you could literally get free help whenever you want. Well, I shouldn't say whenever you want, but when I'm in there, I'm happy to answer questions. The amount of businesses that don't have an opt-in is crazy. I can promise you the most successful MSPs have some sort of opt-in. It could be an analysis of Office 365 versus Google Workspace. It could be support services, why you do antivirus the way you do, why you do backup and disaster recovery, and how you make sure that even if a meteor struck the ground and blew that office apart, you would have them up and running within two hours. Just making things up here. But in all rea reality, some of you guys are crazy with how fast and how efficient you guys operate. The hard part is explaining all of these services to your target customer. So we've talked about the target. We've talked about the services that you have. We've talked about an opt-in. What else are you missing on your website? Now, the target could be different industries that you're gonna work in. The services are obviously your services. We have the opt-in, so what else are you actually missing? Believe it or not, you need social proof. Now, if you're just starting your MSP, you're probably not gonna have social proof, and that's okay. But we're gonna go down here. Actually, let me see if I got, I got purple right here. We got great colors today, loving this. Social Social proof. Now, what is social proof? This can come in the form of case studies. This can come in the form of, uh, we're gonna write testimonials here in my absolutely atrocious handwriting. Testimonials, this could be social media. This could be you posting about areas or things that you've done with your business, but people wanna see social proof. Think about it, when you go on Amazon, what's the first thing that you look at? It's reviews. Why? It's social proof. It's literally other people saying, hey, I've used so-and-so, I've used these dry erase markers. I've used Windex for cleaning whiteboards and it works great, five stars, and they write a little segment about it, some of them do. When people are buying services, if it's not a referral from somebody else who would be the social proof, they have no idea. A majority of your business is not gonna come from traffic to your website. It's gonna come from, or better yet, it's gonna come to your website. It's not gonna come from referrals. So the people that come to your website, they see the services that you offer, they see that you're there in your target market, maybe they wanted to go into an opt-in and learn a little bit more about the business. But at the end of the day, they wanna make sure that you're legit. You, now you know that you're really good, but the customer doesn't know that without picking up the phone and making a phone call to you. 
This is really important to tell them, to teach them, to let them understand that you are legit. You can build case studies and ask your customers for testimonials. You could show how you did things, reworked the server closet, took out old switches, put in firewalls to prevent hacking, whatever it might be that you're actually doing out there. Configuring a guest network. Yes, it sounds crazy, but some, most businesses just let people onto their main network and have no idea the threats that could be out there. You can build a case study and show social proof of what you're doing. Guess what? My social proof is the Discord. And I mean, there's other things on my website as well, but you go on the Discord and you see a bunch of people that have all found value from subscribing to this channel, like you probably should, and you might want to also hit that like button. But if you're missing at least, if you're missing any one of these, especially this one, I can't stress enough, if you are missing this right here, you are missing out completely on extreme amounts of revenue. You need to know who your target market is. Go through the buyer persona. Understand who that is. Because when your dream customer goes to your website, looks at the services that you offer, gets a little extra information, grabs some, sees the social proof of what you're doing, guess what they're gonna do? The last thing, they're gonna go through and they're gonna contact you. And this is where dreams come true because then you have a chance at actually getting a new customer. But they need to see, usually at least three of these, they need to see that you're there in your target market, the services that you actually offer, the social proof, and then an opt-in. Not everybody wants to do an opt-in, but I can't even begin to tell you how valuable they actually are. But when they see this and this, they will contact you. But they're not gonna contact you if it doesn't scream, hey, we love working with businesses just like you. And if you're not that area, it doesn't matter. Your target customer will find this. Now, I will make another video on traffic and how to get traffic to ultimately build the trust and get more people to contact you. But if your website doesn't have these three plus four or plus one for four with the opt-ins, which I know might take a little while, people aren't gonna call you. You've spent time, you've spent energy, you've spent money building this magnificent website, hosting it, making sure it looks great on mobile, tablet, desktop, the whole nine. And then just to lose it because you didn't go in depth enough on your services, or you never showed any social proof, or they can't figure out if they're really the target customer for you. That's where things start to deviate. So if you want more leads from your website, a nearly unlimited amount, depending on how much traffic you actually drive, you have to have all of this on your website so people can contact you. That is the secret sauce. You can add other things, galleries, which is social proof, right? You can add resources, social proof. You can add anything else about us, social proof, right? More services showing people that what you actually offer. Don't go crazy, by the way. Only the core services. You don't need to put every single thing in there. But just make sure it's geared towards that target customer. And everything else is gonna work and more people are going to contact you. This is the secret sauce. I'm not hiding anything. I'm not making you pay for anything else. This is the secret sauce you need to go follow. All I want in return, like, Comment down below if you found value in this, if you've made changes and you started to see more people contact you, I'd appreciate the heck out of hearing about it and subscribing to the channel. That's it. Other than that, come hang out with us in the Discord. Check out the masterclass. There's a bunch of super helpful links down below. I love the heck out of you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. Till then, 